I can tell the story if I don't associate with it. Like I can tell you that it's windy out and the sky is blue. Jacob's kidnapping changed a lot. A child that was absolutely snatched away off the street where he lived by a masked gunman, never to be seen again. Nothing happened immediately. Everything was kind of in slow-mo and too fast at the same time. It's so easy to talk about what you're angry about and what you're fighting against. And this is an opportunity to show what we're fighting for. What was the world that Jacob knew and believed in? Because I refuse to let that go. For us in Minnesota and in neighboring states, Wetterling is a household name. But we want to spread it far and wide to tell Jacob's story in an intimate, thoughtful way. We've done extensive interviews with several people who are really important to the story, including people who investigated the case back in 1989, the citizen journalist who recently put together the crucial piece of the puzzle, the sexual assault survivor who bravely came forward to tell his story, something that became really important to finally learning the truth of what happened to Jacob. But most importantly, we've worked closely with Jacob's parents, Patty and Jerry Wetterling, to hear the story in their words. We are the producing team behind the Jacob Wetterling documentary. I'm Chris Newberry. I'm Nora Shapiro. I'm Mark Steele. We're really excited to share Jacob's story and to share the stories of the amazing people in his family and all the unlikely heroes who never gave up on their search for answers. We'd love to have you join us in supporting this incredibly important project, but we need your financial help. We're asking that you contribute as generously as you can. Thank you so much.